हेलो प्रकाश सर यस मैम यस मैम सपना मैम हां सर टेल मी सर या आई थिंक आई एम ऑडिबल नो हां यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल फाइन मैम फाइन जस्ट 1 सेकंड इज द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल इज माय स्क्रीन इज शेयर यस सर आई कुड सी दैट ब्रोचर यस यस ओके दैट Uh, banner, banner, your kids. Yes, see. yes, yes, yes. Just, just once, I'm waiting for the dean academics to join. Let me see oh, whether yes. dean academics have joined or not. Uh, good morning, all the participants and all the panel members. It's really very good to welcome you all for this uh, one very important program. Uh, we'll just wait for one or two minutes. As soon as the dean academics joins, we can start our session. we are able to see lot of uh, uh, students who are interested to become the entrepreneurs want to start up their own organizations lot of entrepreneurs already there banu pratap has already joined uh, dhruv kumar has already joined vikas garg and satnar sir has already joined just i'll confirm the panel members Kuram sir is also there. Yes sir. Yeah, because Gargi is also there. Nice. Very good. Very good. Yes. Purnima ma'am, are you there? Just one second. I'll confirm Purnima from Purnima ma'am side. गुड मॉर्निंग भानु प्रताप भानु प्रताप गुड मॉर्निंग सर इज अबाई इज जॉइनिंग आई विल हैव टू आस्क आई विल डिस्कस ओके ओके नो इशू नो इशू वी विल स्टार्ट वंस ही इज रेडी लेट हिम जॉइन सो दैट वी कैन मेक हिम टू डिस्कस इन द पैनल ओके सो जस्ट वन सेकंड मैम इज जॉइनिंग प्रकाश सर Yes, ma'am. Sapna, ma'am, you can start recording now. I have already started recording. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, sir, shall I inform, madam? Pull him, madam. Yeah, yeah. I already called her. She will be joining. I already shared the link also. Just uh, check once, ma'am. Okay, sir. गुड मॉर्निंग वन अंडर गुड मॉर्निंग पूर्णिमा मैम हमें ऑडिबल पूर्णिमा मैम सर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सर Yeah. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome. You are audible, sir. Yes. Please Now, officially, officially, we are starting our program. Once again, good morning to one and all who are participating in this great occasion. Today, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru, is 
and uh, uh, under SVCE, we have a IIC cell where we are celebrating World Entrepreneurs Day uh, during the period of 21st to 24th August 2021. In this occasion, we are today we are going to we are organizing an online program called Panel Discussion of Students and Faculty Entrepreneurship. This is a IAC initiated program where they are encouraging students and also faculty to become entrepreneurs. On this occasion, we would like to hear from the successful student entrepreneurs, alumni, and also faculty entrepreneurs. And we, we request them to uh, guide our students what exactly they need to go through to become the successful entrepreneurs. So in this occasion, we have many student entrepreneurs. I'll introduce them one by one. I First of all, I would like to welcome all the entrepreneurs, student entrepreneurs, and also faculty entrepreneurs for this program. And I am also very much thankful for our SVC management, CED sir, Dr. Shashidhar Muniyappa sir, and also our honorable principal sir, Dr. Nageshwar, M. Gupta sir for encouraging us to organize this event. We have Dr. Nirmala S. Gupta, ARIA coordinator, and Professor Revana Siddhappa M., NISP coordinator, and also Professor Navin Kumar BM, IAC convener of SVCE. With their inputs and guidance, we we're able to organize this particular event. In this occasion, we have our uh, senior professor, Dr. Purnima Jiyar, Dean Academics of SVCE. We would, I would like to request ma'am to uh, address the gathering. After this, we can go for the panel discussion. Over to you, Purnima ma'am. Purnima ma'am, you can start now. Hello? Oh, Purnima ma'am is there. Ma'am, you are not audible. Sir, good morning. There is a yes, network yes, leak, sir. Okay. And you can Sorry. Proceed, yes. Very good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, hi, uh, a hearty welcome to... There is some audio issues there, ma'am. Yes, sir. Network issue, sir. I'm sorry. No issue, no issue. A very warm welcome to the all participants. Then uh, we have uh, for this uh, panel discussion by and organized by IAC sir in association with Ria coordinator, Dr. Irmaka Esther, NPSP coordinator, Dr. Uh, so the members. Raven, sir. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Prakasha, sir. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
So I have our uh, chief executive director, our uh, principal sir, Dr. Nageshwar M. Gupta sir. I welcome all of you for this panel discussion. All the panel members to share your views, the hurdles to share your stuff, as well as how you became the uh, successful artists. This I thank Pan and thank you. The professor. Thank you, Purnima, ma'am. And uh, I would like to add one more thing here. We also have one more panel member, Professor Mohammad Kurram. He is also faculty entrepreneur. He will also be there in the panel discussion. Welcome, uh, Kurram, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you. Welcome Thank you, to everybody. Thank you. Now, uh, I would like to welcome all the panel members one by one. First, I think, let me stop my screen sharing so that uh, they can switch on their uh, videos. All the panel members, they can switch on their videos. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome our successful student entrepreneur, Mr. Vikas Gar, the Chief Technology Officer and Co-Founder of Fet Info Technologies. Welcome, Vikas Gar. Welcome to the panel discussion. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Oh, welcome. Okay. Now, I would like to welcome Mr. Banu Pratap, the co-founder of Nulf Crew Technology. Both Vikas Gar and Banu Pratap are recently passed out student. That is 2021 batch passed out student. Banu Pratap is the co-founder of Nulf Crew Technologies. They have already established and they have successfully running this one. Banu Pratap, welcome to the panel discussion. Thank you so much. Uh, if possible, you can switch on your video if possible. Okay. If no, otherwise, no issue. But later, we can go for it. Now, I'd like to welcome our third uh, panel member of this particular program. He is also one of our student uh, entrepreneur, Mr. Dhruv Kumar Yen from Civil Department. He is a successful entrepreneur. Dhruv Kumar, welcome to the panel discussion. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And we have a few more students they are yet to join. Before that, I would like to welcome our faculty members who are their successful entrepreneurs. First and foremost, I would like to welcome Professor M.S. Satyanarayana. He is the assistant professor from the Department of IAC of SBCE. Welcome you, sir, for this panel discussion. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We also have Professor Mohammad Kurram. He is an assistant professor in the department of ISC. He has uh, established the, an organization and is successfully running that one along with the uh, professor profession. Welcome you to this particular di panel discussion, sir. Thank you, sir. And we also would like to invite Professor Manoj B. He, is, he was working in, at SVC and now he has already started his own company called Akriti Constructions. He will be joining the session as early as possible. I would like to welcome Mr. Manoj B for this panel discussion also. And we also have two more members. Mr. Abhay R. Muni he is also a recently passed out student from SVC. Ah, Abhay R. Muni is already joined. Welcome Abhay R. Muni. He is a co-founder of Nalkru Technologies along with Banu Prata. Welcome you Abhay. For this panel discussion. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. And two more faculty uh, students need to join. Once they join, we'll uh, will make them to join our session. Now, first of all, I would like to request one by one, Vikas Gar, kindly introduce yourself. You are uh, just for few minutes. Later, we can go for the panel discussion. Vikas Gar, over to you. Okay. So, a very good morning to all of you. So first of all, I th I want to thank uh, SVC organization for inviting me on this panel discussion. So entrepreneur is one of the most important and you can say demanding uh, 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 trend that is going on. So we see a lot of people, a 
lot of student, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, you can say young entrepreneurs keep on coming and revolutionizing the world. So basically, uh, I'm also one of them, um, basically from the Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. So even uh, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Fade Info Technologies. So I'm a kind of person who is managing with my, you know, uh, you can say job and uh, this uh, startup. So basically my end time goal is startup. I want to continue my startup. I want to work on some kind of deep complex problem and solve them and revolutionize the world. So once again, I want to thank you SVC, uh, especially our uh, CD sir, uh, principal sir, and all the faculty coordinators and uh, members who basically provided me this kind of a golden opportunity uh, to basically put my views thought uh, on this entrepreneurship and inspire uh, all uh, our juniors and young entrepreneurs to come with some kind of a good innovative technologies and help the society and impact the society in a positive way. Thank you so much. Thank you Vikas. Now I would like to request Abhay R. Muni to speak few words about this. Later we can go for the panel discussion. Over to you Abhay. Thank you sir. Good morning everyone. Uh, I am Abhay and I am uh, grateful for SVC management and faculties uh, for inviting me to this pa panel discussion. Uh, I am the co-founder of Nalkuru Technologies. I recently passed out uh, from uh, SVC HM. Um, we started up the startup uh, on uh, 23rd July last year, and it's been successfully running till date. And uh, most of it was. Uh, uh, was happened very happening very rapidly and we are uh, concentrating more on making the society a better place just with a few simple changes in products so uh, this is all about us thank you sir thank you abai now i'd like to request bana pratap to introduce himself and speak few words about his organization sure so, thank you uh, my name is Bhanu Pratham. I'm a co-founder for Nalkiu Technology as well. So I just want to say that it's a very good opportunity to learn how to cope up, how to get to know what is the struggle, what is the procedure to do anything. Like we can start with like selling something or making something good for the society or something, a business model. It, it's not necessary to make any uh, like societal stuff. You can like go for business model. You have an idea which you have a very huge market and go occupy that market and get to know the news, how the other companies are functioning. You get to learn a lot from that. So I wish you all like to like take in the knowledge we gained from all these years and the experience we got from like competing in this sector and learn from it. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, Bana Pratap. Now I would like to introduce one more panel member who has joined just now. He is Mr. Animesh Gupta, the student, I uh, mean, uh, just now he has completed his degree, BE degree from Department of ISC of SVCE. Mr. Animesh Gupta he is also co founder of Pet Info Technologies. Okay. Animesh, I would like you to speak a few words about your success. Over to you, Animesh. Thank you, sir, for the introduction. Good morning, everyone, and very thank you to all the faculty members, uh, as we see college for this uh, invitation and opportunity to be the panel member of the today's discussion. So I'll be starting with the Fate Info Technologies. So we started this in January 21. Uh, initially, it was uh, Fate, Te Fate Technologies, which was a very small MSME startup. But later on, when we start getting clients, when we start growing up, we got the support from the industry. Uh, we got it incorporated and today we are Fate Info Technologies Private Limited. So I'm very thankful to everyone, to all my clients, to all the support and uh, uh, my other two co-founders, two co-founders, Vikas and Abhinav. So yeah, today we are incorporated and uh, our main tagline of the business is we are focusing on the businesses which is existing in the market who are not familiar with the IT services that how they can grow their business uh, with the with the technology how they can come online how they can bring their business to another level for better resources for better customers so yes so our tagline tagline is uh, fate info technologies one for all we are one for everyone uh, we'll be serving each and everyone in the market who want to be online who wants the support from us so also, we are uh, till now we were uh, uh, service we were in servicing field, but in future we are focusing on many products which will be launched uh, through Fate Info Technologies. 
so let's hope for the best uh, that's all from my side thank you animesh thank now you. i would i would like to request mr uh, dhruv kumar from civil department he was student of our svc and he has established his own organization dhruv kumar kindly speak few words about your organization yourself over to you dhruv kumar thank you sir okay currently i am pursuing my civil uh, b in civil engineering at shri venkateshwar college of engineering i personally thank shri venkateshwar college of engineering for giving us uh, such a grateful opportunity and invitation for this panel discussion vajrang is basically a 3d printing company uh, 3d printing uh, uh, enterprise uh, we we give, we give personal uh, whatever your product you name we give it as physical uh, physical uh, product thank you uh, thank you dhruv kumar now we have the faculty entrepreneurs in our uh, discussion now i'd like to request professor satnaran ms to speak few words and introduce yourself sir over to you satnaran sir thank you sir uh, hope my voice is audible sir yes sir you are audible perfect thank you so much Uh, first of all, good morning to honourable CED sir, uh, respected principal sir, and respected dean academics, and my dear fellow panel members. Uh, as uh, Team IIC SVC is organising this uh, panel discussion, and as fellow panel members said, the entrepreneurship is which is really required today in developing countries like India. Why I am telling this point is, uh, as per the survey, we have 35% young population who is working towards the job. creation so india in the need of the entrepreneurs to develop our own products as quoted by our prime minister so make in india and made in india so that is the slogan which we have taken and coming back to the faculty entrepreneurship i am very much happy to be a part of this panel discussion so i am a mentor for three to four startups where i am mentoring ignite x labs where i am mentoring with one where i am mentoring ariston so these people are already uh, you know doing their very good uh, work as a startup in the society as a faculty with the knowledge what i gained so i'm just sharing with them i'm provoking them to get the success in the field of startups to float their products and services in the market so once again i'm very much happy to be a part of this so hope the young entrepreneurs who joined today or who want to become an entrepreneurs will take the advantage of this and surely we could see a beautiful india with the slogan of make in india made in india products thank you so much thank you professor satnan sir now i'd like to request professor mamad kuram to introduce himself and speak few words in this occasion okay good morning everybody myself mamad kuram presently working uh, as assistant professor in the department of information science and engineering at svc bangalore so i am also a uh, startup uh, a company and uh, a md and a co-founder for uh, crypto wipe technologies private limited since my background is of uh, teaching and research so my company deals with uh, completely about uh, product and services for the schools colleges and uh, industries based on educational uh, technologies such as lms and virtual schools virtual labs with respect to that and it's a great opportunity uh, for me to become a panel member for this event i would like to thank uh, all the chief patron iisc convener patron and the coordinators who has given me opportunity uh, to be a part of this panel thank you sir thank you thank you kuram sir i hope i we got the introduction from all the panel members now we can directly go ahead for the discussion uh, i request all the panel members to be ready so that we can discuss about the challenges issues and also what the inputs we can share with the uh, participants of this particular session okay. so now as per as my knowledge today when we look into the situations since one one and a half year we have uh, pandemic situation since from the march 2020 we have a pandemic situations lot of new entrepreneurships has been established 
and some of them are successful or some of them are they're still struggling or some of them are closed also now considering this as an issue how exactly or what are the inputs you people can give for the upcoming uh, students or upcoming they want to become the entrepreneurs so kindly consider this as an issue or you can give your own views and thoughts also on this i request all the panel members one by one they can start with their inputs with their guidance and with their encouragement for your uh, for these students first let me ask abhay armani you can start or everyone one by one you can discuss over there so if you can share your video that's good for me if it's possible Mm, uh sorry about that uh, there are a few issues with my webcam so i wouldn't be able i won't be able to switch on the video others those who are comfortable with the videos kindly switch on your videos so that it will be open to all vikas possible if possible you can start you can continue abhay yes sir coming to the issue so uh, as prakash sir mentioned we have a lot of startups that is opening but most of them actually uh, even before uh, they start try implementing or they launch their product they are actually ending up uh, closing up uh, they, they end up closing it closing it but my view upon this is uh, for any startup there are multiple factors that affect the success of the startup so the first view would be the sheer will to focus on the startup and dedicate themselves on it and uh get get done with it the second one would be the investment and the funding they are they are having the third one would be the way they are going to execute it and there are many other factors but i consider these three factors to be the most important factors for one startup success right so most of the startups that i have seen in my experience uh they give up just because there is a competition and we wouldn't have to we don't have to do that because competition is really good and when there is a competition there are a lot of ways to take it as an advantage to us uh, many of the entrepreneurs it is sad to know and sad to say this but they have a, a notion that having a competition is really bad and they wouldn't be succeeding with competition the second point coming to investment and funding uh, people are actually there are a lot of examples live examples which actually prove that startups can succeed without funding and investment many of the startups they waste time looking for funding and investment they they wait for funding but end up not getting funded and they close up just because they did not get funded even without trying what would happen there are many other sources of getting um, getting money there we we have a lot of other sources like crowd funding we have we can uh, go into pilot testing get a small investment ourselves and get it done but these are not really taken into consideration the third thing is that uh, uh the third point that i had mentioned was uh, i'm sorry just a second there's a few issues it says reconnecting Satya sir yeah uh, just to add like, yeah uh, yeah just to add like what abhay is telling abhay is uh, yes. talking about like maybe funding uh, or various competitors who are in the market see first thing i'll tell you like for young entrepreneurs who want to become an entrepreneur uh, don't feel like entrepreneurship something like it's an art or science it's just a practice how best you are going to practice how best you are going to take the challenges how best you are going to compete in the market it should be a healthy competition it's not end of the day it's a competition something like uh, like what do you say like you know if you go to tire two towns there will be one uh, cloth store and one more person will again start one more cloth store so then we will feel that okay he is going to get the business i am not going to get the business or something like a tea shop so entrepreneurship is not something like that see entrepreneurship is something like a practice which we need to make okay fine see today is not my day so we should wait for our day let us start working towards that. so when you start working towards that surely you will get the success as professor said so pandemic made so many companies to close see it is not pandemic which made companies to get closed 
it is the mindset of the entrepreneur which made the company to get closed and entrepreneur should always think every possibility as an opportunity every issue what we are facing in the society it is an opportunity and we should not sail on the you know, same boat saying that i'll do only like this i'll stick to my rules no you you have the world which is very open you can take all the possibilities and you can start going with that i always say one best example for this you can talk about ola ola so the business what they started as a ola is different what they are today is different so as an entrepreneur we need to explore all the opportunities and take the challenges and today if, you, if today is not your day don't worry just kick off yourself motivate yourself go for the next day think that tomorrow is my day so that's how an entrepreneur should work probably i request fellow panel members to just add for this over to any other panel member thank you yes sir i do agree with your points like uh, in the uh, this pandemic many of our companies uh, got shut down uh, in 3d printing uh, technology uh, like um, many many medical uh, industries faced pro- like they aren't very lot amount lot of amount in that uh, i went to that uh, facial facial ma- facial thing for that uh, we got uh, like our one of our friend got uh, many orders for that frame so that by that uh, he has earned about uh, many lakhs of rupees only for the pro- only for the frame so in this work, uh, pro- like uh, in this pandemic seeing to one angle and they are diverting to the other uh, face of the industry is uh, very important yes. okay hello am i audible yes sir yes. second go ahead yeah so as uh, this meeting is all about the entrepreneurship i want to highlight the key certain topics or you can say key points uh, uh, that is very much important once you go into entrepreneur field first of all i would like to talk about the age so in entrepreneurship uh, uh, as of now i have opened a startup i'm successfully running the startup i don't think that you have a you know a certain age uh, to be needed you know to succeed as startup so it's it's i know it's all about experience but experience comes with time so one of the example or one of the you can say uh, uh, role model i want to take is ritesh agrawal founder and ceo of oyo room he basically started oyo when he was only 18 year old so this basically highlights that you don't need age you just need the kind of a potential you need how basically you can handle the situation how good you are at particular things you need to take certain key business decisions and you need to utilize this particular sort of technology in that particular domain and you need to build the product and you need to solve some kind of real time problem now the second uh, point here comes some of the people think that they need some kind of a rocket science uh, problem uh, to solve but it's not like that most of the startup solve very common problem day to day problem that people are facing so for example you need not to solve some kind of a different problem you need to solve the problem which you are facing you need not to solve some kind of a different problem uh, suppose you are in a particular uh, uh, you can say particular uh, organization you are in a particular kind of a society where some people are facing certain kind of problem and you are facing certain kind of problem now to uh, as a part of entrepreneur and as a an entrepreneur you need to use certain business sense and you need to utilize certain kind of you know business decisions and through technologies you need to come with a sort of a product and then you need to basically solve that particular problem so that's basically entrepreneur is uh, and uh, i know uh, experience is experience is mandatory but it comes with time you cannot say that you know uh, at young age you cannot do some kind of a revolutionized thing people have done it mark zuckerberg did it and if he did it definitely you can do it so that's it from my side thank you thank you vikas uh, now i'd like to request banu pratap to discuss in this regard banu pratap over to you yeah so sure. so i would like to say that just uh you have to be very much interested in what's going on in the world how other startups are working how they pro- like solving a problem how they're monetizing that problem because there are a lot of thing which start with the idea 
and they convert into a product which like can be used from others also first start build the product for yourself like whatever the problem you are facing whatever the problem you are having with anything like let's say parking let's say your housing let's say your water motor is not working properly so you can build solution for that and that solution can be used for other things as well like there are a lot of people who face the similar problem in the world there are not only single few person in the world like facing the same problem so you can actually build the product for yourself in the starting then contribute like take suggestion from others what they are facing and build that then ask what the industries are facing regarding that particular problem and build for that keep on increasing on the product keep on adding the new feature or updates to the products and let just release it out i would like to suggest don't hold back till you get approved from someone just go into the operation see how it goes talk talk to your uh, customer talk to your like whoever wants to use your product and improve upon that so it will help you like build a stronger product because a lot of i have seen lot of companies who just build a product and don't even like like release into the market they want to hold back till the product is totally completed like but it's it doesn't work like that you have to go into the operation operation fields give you a lot of information regarding what the customer want what what is not working out because in the startup field you need to learn how to cut down your product very fast like let's say this feature is not at all being useful you have to cut down as soon as possible and not to waste your time on that because it's not being used it's not like getting you anything so just work on that get, get into operation and learn uh, how to function in the market because it's very much essential you build a very good product but still you need to learn all the aspect of how to manage the business how to get in the operation and learn how to function as a company yeah that's about it thank you banu pratap now i'd like to request professor kuram to uh, say what was his uh, experience with his organization what are the challenges he has faced how exactly the students or the upcoming entrepreneurs has to move ahead over to you kuram sir okay thank you pratap sir uh, i would like to focus on uh, a model called 4c model 4c model the first model is uh, confidence so so without any confidence so if you have a lot of opportunity if you doesn't have a confidence on a particular thing then you cannot become a successful that's why one thing is that you should have a confidence on yourself that whatever you are proceeding so surely it will be going to success that is the first c the second c is the creativity see see many persons they have a confidence they have a very good uh, degree with a rank holder gold medal is always with them but uh, many think uh, i have been observed that they doesn't have a creativity so what is there see surrounding you you can see that there are lot of products are there so that were not present uh, 10 years before or 20 years before you can see that lot of products uh, the new products has been coming surrounding you so you can see any product so the, what they have done so they they have been added up some creativity in the existing product and they made that product that is uh, more easy to use and friendly to use and uh, more productivity also so one thing is uh, what we have to do first we have to have a confidence level and next is creativity is very important because without creativity we cannot analyze the, what is actually the problem is going on and how we can uh, make a better solutions second is a uh, creativity and third that is very important is called a communication so many students or many entrepreneurs uh, they have a skill set they have a creativity they know what is the product but how to communicate whom to communicate is very very much important because your product has to be presented in uh in all terms of with respect to your industries with respect to your end users with uh, respect to your funding agency see if you are not pro properly communicating uh, with respect to your product or with respect to your ideas say but that one can be uh, that cannot be accepted 
So that's why we want to be there. Third C is very important. That is communication. So we have to communicate. We have to build a rapport in this industry. We have to have a very good reference model. So without communication, it cannot be possible. And the last uh, C is uh, very important. So without that, uh, this three C, it won't be a valid. So that is called a character. See, if you have a very good confidence, creativity is there, communication is there, but if you are not having a proper character, what will be there? So you will be losing completely about that particular industry or a company, anything is there. Because ethics is very important, rules and regulations are very much important, so you cannot uh, go beyond the ethics. So that's why, so if you have a proper character, surely you can grow this nation and you can become a successful as an entrepreneur and you can lead a very good uh, societal life in the in this world thank you very much uh, professor over to you that's really great to hear from uh, mohammad kuram sir the four c's which are very important in our uh, life wherever it is whether it's an entrepreneur whether it's your daily life the four c's are really very very important now i'd like to request mr arimesh gupta to speak few words about what, what he is, how he is, and how exactly he has established the organization. Over to you, Animesh. Thank you, sir. So, very first, I want to highlight the points which was raised in the starting of the discussion by Abhay and uh, Mr. Satya, sir, uh, about the factors, the problems faced by the startups. So, those are the problems which is faced by, I guess, almost 95% of the startups, uh, the funding problem, what to do with their product how to do with their product what are the fields they need to highlight in their product so i'll coming to the what the topic is uh, uh, asked by prakash sir that why the the startups got closed because of this pandemic so there are some if you have a startup with a innovative product or a innovative services so you need to highlight your own features first you need to understand your product your services See, in any product or any unique services, there can be hundreds of uh, features which can be there, out of which you are highlighting few of them. Let's say you are highlighting 10 features, you are highlighting 20 features, but there can be many more. So the very first thing, if you are going from a bad time with your startup, you need to highlight which are the features which you are not highlighting in the market. See, about the competition, which was also a, a point in any startup growth. So see, competition is there. If you have a product and you are focusing on a particular location, on a particular field, let's say, let's take an example. If you have a product and you started that product with Bangalore. So you may have many competitions in Bangalore, but if you don't want to lose hope, you have to find the ways where you can't go with the loss with your product. See, if there's some competition in Bangalore, then a very good plus point which can be suggested from my side is see if that product is there in Bangalore, you have competitions in Bangalore, then why don't you go for some other location? You can find some other location where the competition is not there, where the, the people are there which may need that, that product, which can be your target audience, but any other services or any other company is not there which is serving that product to the people. So this can be a very good uh, suggestion, very good way of going to with your product. So yes, finding a particular position, if you have some competition problem, then it can be a very useful impact on your product to, to not lose the market, to gain new customers, your target, you change your target audience, you highlight your features of your product. So yeah, this is from my side that how you can't lose uh, your product, how you can't lose the startup which you have. Uh, just to add like what Animesh said, uh, with respect to product and the locality. So in the same pandemic, uh, I'm just mentoring one team. They're from Mumbai, basically. See, what these people have done is, uh, they want to start some startup uh, where they want to help the diabetic patients with a very good food, which will maintain their uh, diabetic levels. So when they thought about it in Mumbai, they felt like, okay, there are so many players in this area. So then they moved to the Thai to town close by and they started this business. Within a span of three months, they could able to earn more than two lakhs, where their investment is just 15,000 rupees. See, the locality is really matters sometimes based on the product. And again, to add one more, when you talk about the product, see, it might be, as uh, Vikas said, it might be a new product which is a new in the market, or which might be an existing one where you are going to give the, a beautiful solution for it. Just to give one more 
product which I come across, uh, probably I, I, I feel proud to be a part of that product, is all of us we are using Flipkart, all of us we are using Amazon. And everyone we are, uh, we are all buying electronic goods or electronic gadgets, but we are not claiming the warranty. So as per the survey, 97.3% people in India, they are not claiming the warranty. The reason because they don't have warranty, no, they have the warranty on the product. The problem is they don't have time to go to the service station and get it claimed. So one student batch, they're from mechanical and computer science together from Abdul Rahman University. They started a company which is called Warranty Guard. So they will take care of your product. They will claim your warranty behalf of you by using the virtual mode video calling artificial intelligence based system. So now what they have done is for every product you are going to buy, they are going to charge one rupee. So that one rupee is going to be there with the warranty card and they are going to claim the warranty behalf of you. Now customer is so happy because I brought the product, I'm claiming the warranty, I'm also happy. And this warranty card is very happy because today they are the, uh, you know, earning more than 10 to 15 lakhs per, per quarter per quarter. See, this is a beautiful ideas. One is location based, one is problem based. So pandemic or any kind of situation really won't stop the entrepreneur until unless you have the mindset of an entrepreneur. So the mindset of the entrepreneur, something should be like, take the opportunity, crack the opportunity, build the solution, float it into the market. And before I just conclude, I want to give one more best example for the product for this question is, uh, most of the women, when they want to check their pregnancy level, they go with the Praga News. Praga News is a product which is a market leader today. It is just cost 50 rupees. Though there are so many companies coming in the market, they couldn't be able to beat it because of the quality. So when you talk about a product or service, it should be allocation based, quality based, innovation. So all various factors will come into the picture which we need to consider so that you can become a successful entrepreneur. Thank you. Thank you, Satya sir. That was really most encouraging all the participants because you have given the new ideas because idea is very important. And design thinking is, as we all know that one, everyone will be idea, having the ideas, new, new ideas, but how to proceed with that one, how to progress with, them, with that one is what everyone is lagging as far as my knowledge. So with this, I hope uh, we will expect Dhruv Kumar to speak few words about this. Maybe his experience, what he has achieved, what are the problems he has faced, what are the uh, challenges he has faced. Over to you, Dhruv Kumar. Dhruv Kumar, are you there? Yeah. Fine. So, Dhruv Kumar is... Sir, I'm, I'm yeah. audible. Okay. Yes, you are audible, Dhruv Kumar. You can share your experience. Yes, sir. Basically, we made a... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So basically, we, we add a six point of goal, like uh, points, main, basically main points. One is uh, overall view of the company, which comes under company name, location, and legal aspects of everything. And second one is the uh, message. What is the message that we give for the, uh, like our customer or uh, like our clients, whatever the message what we give for the uh, client. And third comes under the marketing. Like uh, we choose our uh, market, which is a defined, which is a main branch or uh, main uh, stream of the marketing, and what is the business model, all that, and uh, what is the primary product that we give for uh, our client or our customer. Uh, that is the fourth point, and fifth point was uh, how were the, the product uh, manufacturing and delivering the product. Like what more uh, we will be using as a. Uh, Shipping, shipping process and payment process, all that. And sixth one was the goal. What is the revenue for quarterly, month, yearly, all that. Thank you. Yeah, that was really wonderful, Mr. Dhruv Kumar. You have given a lot of inputs to the, especially for how exactly we can proceed with our uh, product and how to market it and how successfully we can achieve our requirements. So with this, I think all the panel members might have discussed their own, they have given their views. Now we'll go for the question answer sessions. Any questions from the participants? 
they can raise their questions, they can put their questions so that the panel members can give some in inputs. Now, as some of the panel members have uh, discussed, one, my, one question from my end is, if there is a, we already established our organization, immediately after few days, one more person next to us has established the same type of organizations, okay? They may be facing the challenges because already we have established in our uh, area, in our uh, product, we are going ahead. But we have got a new challenge from the one more person. As an established organization, what we have to do? How exactly we have to go ahead? Okay, how to face the challenges? Because new person, you may be coming up with the new ideas, new technologies, you may be using that one. So already established organizations, what they have to do? How exactly they can cope up? How exactly they can overcome those challenges? If, the, if you have, people can discuss on this, it will be useful for the participants. Such as or anybody. Yeah, sir. So it's a it's a very common and very very common issue for all the companies existing in the market. So very first thing I want to suggest is it depends on the mindset. Your mindset as an entrepreneur should be it's he's not your competition if some parallel company came into your business who is giving the same services or serving the same product as you. So don't take it as a competition. Take it as a growth for yourself. How you can grow your market so that he will not be a competition. Okay. So now if uh, I'm, I'm giving some services and uh, other company came into the market with the same services. So the very first thing came here is suppose you're existing in the market since last one year. So here where customer loyalty comes in between. See, it depends on you, your behavior towards your existing clients that how you behave with your clients, what services and what quality you gave to your clients. So see, if you are serving in the same business since last uh, very good time and you have served some hundred customers, so here your feedback matters a lot from the customers. If you are serving for a service and you had already you had customers, so now they will suggest other people to go with your service instead of your competitor. So here customer loyalty matters a lot. So here where you can grow yourself with your customers, the services which you had provided. See if you are unique also in your business, there are no competitors, don't feel like you are unique there is no one to serve your customer. It can come anytime, which is our problem statement from you, sir. So behaving with the customer, giving them very good customer service, this customer and uh, company relationship management matters a lot from the day one of the company. So you should serve your customer like they will not leave you anytime. If, if you are serving them, they will not go for your competitor. So here what uh, customer loyalty comes in between. <clears throat> so this can be a very big part for your growth, for your competition also that your, if you have customers, they will not go anywhere if you have any competitions also. So you have to serve your customer on a basis that uh, they will not leave you for any cost if they are giving services at a very cheaper cost also. They're also they with your quality of service, your behavior, your, uh, your emotional connection with the customers. So that's it from my side. That competition is not an issue. It should be your confidence and your mindset that how you are taking that competition as to grow your own company. So it's not about competition, it's, a, it's about your relationship between you and your customer in between the industry. Thank you, Animesh. Sorry to disturb other uh, panel members because why I raised this question is, I, uh, it's a live example what I am giving. Uh, in front of my house only, there was a uh, Panipuri stall. Right from 20 years, he is providing a service to all the uh, people around that. But recently, just last year, one more Benedosa hotel has come next to him only. Okay, till that there was no Benedosa hotel. Panipuri stall was running successfully. But last year, immediately a Benedosa hotel has come. So as I observed, 50% of the customer are there, he's not losing the customers. He's not losing the customer, but the business has got down because they have, people have found the alternative uh, food for them. Instead of coming weekly, now they are coming fortnightly. Previously, they used to come weekly for the uh, eating Pani Puri or Masal Puri. But now they got a choice. One week they go for the Masal, uh, this masal Dosa, other week they go for the Pani Puri stall. Now the Pani Puri uh, stall person, the business person, his uh, business has got reduced. So this is the problem what people are facing over there. So over to the other panel members. 
okay so i want to add uh, this is one of the you can say a uh, day to day challenge that most of the startup are facing so the main thing for the startup is it need to adopt the environment it need to adopt the changing environment i give you one very good example of ola uh, as i i think uh, one of our great panel member mr satyanarayan sir has suggested us ola so let's talk about ola so as of now ola was previously dealing with this online rental car and basically uh, this kind of services but as of now they came with a kind of electric scooter product so from one domain they basically switched to other domain with time because it's all about the potential of market in what trends we are going in the further technologies because now we have uber also we have bounce also we have drivez also we have rapido also so all those markets are competing in one domain so let's we need to basically adopt the environment right now electric electric mobile or basic you can say electric mobility is one of the you can say thing that is revolutionizing the world all of the sector is focusing on this kind of uh, you can trends only so we need to think in a kind of a vision suppose you are a particular company you need to think uh approximately you know 10 years ahead from now that basically what i'm doing how it will affect in a long run so let's take an example of pani puri wala suppose he had one of his competitor he had just open one kind of uh, basically uh, uh, different shop where he is asking some variety but uh, as one of my fellow told customer loyalty and your taste and your customer basically comes into picture basically how you are going to manage your business what kind of decisions you are taking what kind of specialty service you are offering and how basically you are going to change with time your decision change with time that matters a lot for a particular startup to survive in a world you have to take one of the you, you can say important challenge and sometimes very rough challenge to survive in this world survive in this you know startup world so this basically that, that's it yeah so as rightly said no fellow panel members i just want to add one just one point here uh, you know today like uh, if, if, if you go to any job portal more than job seekers the entrepreneurs are spending so much time on the job portals just to understand how the market is doing so for an entrepreneur every day he should think how i can cope up with the market so as the professor said the pani puri fellow might have thought like okay i will be the market leader for i mean for last 20 years no one might come but if someone coming he should be very in a, in a position to get alerted saying that hey why can't i switch over something like this so i can satisfy both the people i mean i can satisfy the pani puri fellow i can satisfy the something else product which i can sell and just to add one example here it's not about who came first who came next i'll tell you two examples here which i could uh, which is striking my mind one you can take flipkart and shopclose shopclose when they came into the market in the year 2011 they started blasting so many offers people are fond of offers everyone started buying from shopclose but they couldn't able to maintain the quality though flipkart started in 2007 so they never felt that okay shopclose is coming with so many offers i need to give offers no flipkart is maintaining a traditional business model which they are following before also so offers are not really going to hurt the company provided that as mr animesh and vikas said the loyalty the quality and the way we are going to deal with the customers so that is very important and take another example take the example of yahoo and google actually yahoo started as a search engine google also started as a search engine yahoo started in 94 google started in 98 see here the case is entirely different so yahoo is the senior player in search engine google is a, a junior player or a, a subsequent player but today google is leading the market the reason is yahoo has given a more priority for the advertisement in their browsing or in a search engine but whereas you can see the google the person who know the basics of computers he can access the google so that means there are various factors as a entrepreneur we should think and we should compete with the market then only we can sustain in the market it might be a pani puri business it might be a search engine it might be it it might be iot it might be machine learning any industry the entrepreneur should be live alive every day to cope up with the market that's what i could say about this point thank you
Kuram sir, you can. Hi. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. Uh, regarding uh, your problem, whatever you stated, that uh, the main reason will be the opportunity. So I'll be there. The many startups or many or industry, those who are running, they thought they won't be a competitor among them. And in the earlier days, they used to run for a longer years. But nowadays, what will be there for every alternate years, the new technologies has arrived and new new products is coming. So if any industry is not switching over to the current technologies, they are not switching over to the current customer need, surely will be there one day or other day, all your customers will be taken away by other customer so main uh, problems in the layman language if i speak or what will be there so the already established industries they think that they won't uh, whatever they got a fund uh, profit all those things so they are not utilizing for their r and d's they are not utilizing for their uh, new technological product so due to that what will be there they are losing their customers so, so for them, what will be there, they need to switch over, it's a continuous process, so no brand is retaining nowadays for a longer period, so if they want to retain, so in each and every aspects, they have to work it out, let it be a social aspect, let it be environmental aspect, let it be technological aspects, so they have to satisfy all those aspects, then only their brand will be moving on for a longer time. Otherwise, within a shorter time, say some other startups or some other, uh, they have a very good idea or creativity, they have their own patents so, so that uh, they can run in a very longer period with uh, a lot of uh, uh, profits also they will be learning. Means within a small period of time, they can give a huge profit. So that amount also they won't invest in some other things, they improve themselves Due to that, what will be there? I think you can see that a lot of startups like Facebook, Google, say so they are working on their long running process. They are not running, uh, they are not made a product and they have stopped up. They want to improve in each and every part of the era. That's why they are retaining in each and every part of era. Their brand is coming out uh, in one or other way. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Kuram, sir. Now, I would like to request the participants, if they have any questions, they can raise their questions, they can put their questions so that the panel members can give the answers. Any questions from the participants? Or any thoughts from anybody? A lot of participants are there. They can uh, say their views and their goals, their future goals. It's open to all. Any questions or any suggestions? So most of them are from civil engineers. Uh, most uh, from all the branches are there, but some of most of them are from civil engineering department. They may be having if they establish any new organizations. What are the challenges they can face? All those things. Any questions? Anybody? Yeah, so I think there is no questions. No one is having any doubts. Hope the session has uh, gone wonderful. It's uh, thought provoking and given the inputs from all the panel members, it's really eye opener. Those who are really want to go for to want to become the entrepreneurship entrepreneurs. Thank you, all the panel members, for your valuable contribution for this particular session. And I uh, sincerely thank all my colleagues, the coordinators. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just want to add one last point, which I think will conclude the whole our uh, today's session. Yes, yes, uh, yes. In entrepreneurship, it's not about uh, who is doing it first. It's about who does it better. So yes. this will be the thought which will conclude our whole session for the entrepreneurship. For it, it, it can be the answer for all the questions which is being raised in the session. 
that's so really that's good. Right. Yeah, that's what. See, it is that better late than never. Many uh, slogans are there. Better late than never is the slogan because as people have discussed, the technology is changing, the approach is changing, the demand is changing. Okay, previously we used to go to the all the shops personally and we used to purchase. But now I think everything has become online. Even education has become online. Okay, so we need to take up the challenges and we should come up with the new uh, approaches to reach our goals. Okay, that is what the main motto of this particular panel uh, discussion. I would like to thank all the panel members. We supposed to have few more my panel members, but unfortunately they got stuck up with their uh, official work. Okay, thank you. All the student panel members, right from Abhay Armani, Banu Pratap, and Dhruv Kumar, Animesh Gupta, Vikas Gar. These are all the student panel, the student entrepreneurs. And also, thank you very much to Satnaran sir, Kumar sir, and all the coordinators of this particular event of IIC. I would like to thank Sapna ma'am. I would like to thank uh, uh, Sitina, Reyon Siddhapa sir. Personally, I would like to thank Namin Kumar sir. And special thanks to Dr. Nirmala S. Gupta and also Dr. Suma ma'am and also uh, Madam Swapna ma'am. Okay. With your support, we could able to execute this particular event successfully. I hope we have done successfully. We have executed successfully. And finally, I would like to thank all the HODs of all the branches of our SVC, right from uh, ECE, HOD, CS HOD. ISHOD, Mechanical, Civil, and CSAIHOD, Electrical, Mechatronics, and Basic Science also. Without your guidance and support, we could not able to execute this one. Thank you, everyone. And our Dean Academics, special thanks to Dean Academics. Thanks to our Honorable Principal, Sir, Dr. Nageshwaram Gupta, Sir. And finally, I would like to thank our CED, Sir, and also SVC Management for giving us opportunity to execute this particular yeah, Entrepreneurs Day, World Entrepreneurs Day program sponsored by IIC, AICT. Thank you, Vanandal. And finally, I would like to share the feedback link. Kindly uh, note down the feedback link. I'm sharing my screen now because it's not able to um, share it in the chat box. For me, I'm facing some issue. I'm sharing the screen where it's visible. Kindly note down this feedback link and you can give the feedback. Very simple. It's a tiny URL. tinyurl.com slash IIC hyphen event hyphen 14 hyphen feedback. All the participants, you will you'll get the participation certificate. And for all the panel members, we are providing the appreciation certificate from our IIC cell of SVCE. So within one or two days for you people, you are going to get the appreciation letter, appreciation certificate. Uh, participants kindly note down this and fill the form immediately. You will get the participation certificate for this. Yes, I think all of you might have noted down the feedback link. Fill the form. Nirmala Gupta, ma'am, hope we can end the session. Devana Siddhapa, sir, can we end the session? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So once again, once again, thanks to everyone. Thank you, Anandal. Let's wind up the session. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anandal. Thank you, sir. Sir, I'm keeping the meeting. Thank you, everyone. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Everyone. Thank, thank you. Thank you all. All the panel members. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.